Hey, this is actually the most outrageous setup I've ever attempted. I've got the normal Sony camera balancing on a small beam in the hotel room here that's looking like a high wire out of a circus, and I have it propped up a little bit with the laptop flipped down and slightly angled at an obtuse angle in order to prop it up just a little bit so you can maybe see my face. I don't know what it looks like. You might be looking at just like my bottom chin, so I'm going to look like the secretary from the Powerpuff Girls, but we're going to run it anyway. So, as you can see, I'm still on my little expedition away from home. I'm in my hotel room. Don't be alarmed. I know I'm not wearing a white shirt, but this isn't a cry for help or anything. It's very cold. So, I threw on one of the only long sleeve shirts that I had available. So that's the whole explanation there. Anyway, th the reason I have urgently scrambled here to get to this computer in order to talk about something is because a huge story has been developing over the last, I don't know, like two hours or something, where Sniper Wolf has now doxxed Jack's films. I'm sure this is something that a lot of you are moderately familiar with, but I'll just go ahead and give you the really brief nutshell rundown of what's going on. I didn't make that cut right there on purpose. This has nothing to do with the whole video, but I need to mention this. The, the camera just fell on its own and stopped the recording, so we may have an angry poltergeist incident in here. I'm gonna have to get the fucking Luigi's Mansion vacuum out and just start going to town in here to, to clear the, the area, exercise whatever spirits happen to be haunting this room. But I'm gonna finish the video regardless, but if you see my eyes roll into the back of my skull and I start levitating off the chair during it, just know, it's, it's, it's a haunting in Pittsburgh here. Or perhaps the cringe was too unbearable here with the subject we're covering. But anyway, back on topic. Sniper Wolf, huge channel. She mainly does TikTok reacts, which has made her the punching bag of the internet recently. She's caught more fire than the sequel to The Hunger Games because a lot of people have been stating that what she does isn't really reacting to content. It's mainly just stealing it, freebooting it. And the entire internet has come together like this giant singularity and all collapsed onto Sniper Wolf as well as some other React channels as well for this type of content. And by far the biggest soldier on the front line of this battle is Jax Films. Jax Films made a whole video going over why what she does isn't acceptable and even made an entire channel dedicated to making fun of her and her content. And he even has an entire bingo game that takes the piss out of her content more than a catheter takes the piss out of a hospital patient. He has pretty much daily uploads of just making fun of each of her daily reacts. This ongoing feud has been escalating and continuing for quite some time. We're in like season five of this anime arc here and it's only popping off more and more. And this whole situation has led to a can of worms opening. Pandora's box has been unleashed. So it's been a massive conversation across the entire internet with tons of content creators weighing in on it, such as Dark Viper having an entire series on React content. Mudahar has made quite a few pieces on it as well. Just tons of channels that have all been talking about it recently. And it's led to this witch's cauldron, this stew that's been brewing and bubbling. And now the cup runneth over and all of this have spilt from the internet to the real world. Allegedly, Sniper Wolf has just doxxed Jack's films. In an Instagram post, she posted this. And it was more than just this picture here. Apparently, she even posted one of his house, which obviously I'm not going to show you. I'm not here to just like hop on and give you like a 4K display of Jack's Films Dojo here because Sniper Wolf posted it on her story. It's just an extremely degenerate, fucked up response to this whole situation from Sniper Wolf here. It's borderline illegal i think I, I don't think you can just dox somebody like this and if it's not illegal it's against youtube's rules at the very least and it violates the geneva convention of internet content creators where you never take internet beef into the real world it's it's just going too far with this whole thing jack's films was just making critiques on her content as well as making fun of it which is something everyone does all the time every single fucking day and to go to this extreme where you dox him for it is just an incomprehensible, insano style step. Now, Jack's Films posting about this on Twitter obviously gained a lot of traction. This isn't exactly some kind of like whoops a daisy moment, you know, a mistake that could happen to anyone. This is some pretty malicious shit. There's not really a defense of it. You can't just make the claim like, well, I just wanted to kind of talk it out face to face. Like, no. That's, that's not how this works. You don't go up to someone's house like you're about to try and sell them solar panels in order to hash out your internet beef unannounced. 
especially not in the middle of the night too that's threatening like that's that is not a normal sane way of handling things so when this started getting traction sniper wolf sniper wolf herself caught on to it and deleted the post and then said this she said accusing me of doxing is defamation i have no idea how to dox he literally posted his address on google and said i threatened him and doxed him Jax Films said, You posted a video tonight of you outside our home to your 5 plus million followers to see while my wife and I were inside. I can't make it any simpler than that. If that's not doxing, why did you delete it? That's kind of a, a checkmate moment right there. He, he got her with the scholar's mate. Like, you showed up to his house unannounced in the middle of the night. And then when people started to point out how that's not acceptable behavior and is very much in line with doxing you deleted it so you can recognize that it's bad i don't really know how you'd phoenix write an argument together that it's not doxing like i don't even understand the statement she makes about saying that jack's films posted his address on google she's talking about google like it's the game faqs.com board like i don't think he made a sponsored paid post with just his address is the first thing that comes up when you type in jack's films you definitely would have to go out of your way to find that information i don't think he like geotagged his spot made it like a pokemon go stop and he, like really was advertising where he lives like this is not common information you went out of your way to find it and then went to his address like, I just really can't think of any justification for it. I've seen a couple of people huffing massive amounts of copium, nearly toxic levels of copium, saying, like, she went there to handle things like an adult, unlike Jack's films who just speaks behind a computer. And that's just straight up delusional, if you ask me. No normal people are going to hash out their internet beef in the middle of the night in person unannounced, right? Like, going up to his house like she's about to, you know, sell solar panels to him or something and ambush him with this conversation about this feud they have is not normal or acceptable. It's, it's just like a malicious, weird thing to do. And over... Wow. That... That... Man. A ghost just haunted my vocal folds on that one with that voice crack. Goodness gracious. Overall... I'm just shocked that Sniper Wolf, with as long as she's been on the internet and as large as she is, would think for even just a, a second that she'd somehow be able to get out of this situation without huge backlash and problems from it. Again, this is something that extends beyond just like normal internet etiquette. This is like downright against rules to do something like this. So I, I definitely think Jax Films is in the right here. He's very upset about it, probably a little concerned because you know who knows who else might go to his house next since she posted it on a massive instagram account like that is a legitimate fear she also posted this again in response to the whole situation saying this creep has been harassing me for months then plays victim saying i threatened him when i just wanted to talk to him i have no ill intentions it's so sad when people have to constantly create drama to pay their bills but this this doesn't make any sense like, this is, a, this is a crazy straw of a statement. It, like, it's, it's taken all kinds of weird twists and turns that aren't computing in my little noodle up here. If you just wanted to talk to him, why wouldn't you just reach out to him through normal channels online? I'm sure he would have responded to you instantly. He seems to respond to everyone about everything in regards to the entire React situation. So I feel like if you had reached out to him... He would have been thrilled to talk to you about it. But again, I'm not his fucking PR guy. I, I don't know. Maybe you did reach out to him and he didn't see it or he ignored it. I have no idea. But regardless, you going to his house to try to talk to him is... That's some psychopath shit. They're like, that's not a normal thing that anyone should be doing. There's other channels that you could have tried beforehand. Go to one of his bingo nights on Twitch and be like, Hey, listen, Buster, I'm ready to hash it out. Let's talk. And again, I'm sure he probably would have seen that. And that would be a lot less scary than having you show up in the middle of the fucking night to his home unannounced. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. I think the, the goal here was to either scare him or put his information out there to maybe some less than savory individuals that could also scare him. I, I, I don't know, but regardless, the way you handled this is atrocious and dangerous. Like, downright, like, dangerous thing to do. So I totally understand the response from Jack's films about this and being frightened by it because this is fucked up. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about this because I, I think this is one of the rare cases of a huge YouTuber making a massive blunder like this. 
where you would step on like actual rules and potentially laws all over some internet beef. So yeah, I, I just I just had to talk about this one a little bit. That's it. See ya.